And welcome back, folks, to Spelunky. We are on Spelunky 6, and I am your host, Tyron King 10. Where we last left off, we just finished off the ice world. I'm going to be extremely cautious around this world because a trap literally could be just around the corner. And certain traps uh, can just end it all here and right now, too. Um, as you can see, there's new enemies up there, uh, cavemen chieftains, I just pretty much call them that. Uh, they just jump around erratically, ooh, he carries the most powerful weapon in the entire game. However, I don't think I can get it properly, unless, yeah, you see, he fires bees all over you. Ah, yes I did, I got it correctly. It's the scepter. The scepter randomly fires and an enemy deals super heavy damage to them and pretty much is a homing tracker. <clears throat> I don't really, <clears throat> pardon me, I really don't want to risk dying to that thwomp ripoff uh, just because, yeah, I am so close to the end it's not even funny. Um, in fact, I just might want to blaze through this until the very last one. I can hear prayers to Kali. I can. Well, I don't hear anything. Well, that just means that there is a special, um, kind of like, thing where the damsel and an idol is located. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else special that goes around with it, but that's all I have been discovered with it. So let me just get you out of the way here. Actually, this scepter is the last piece that you need to open up the secret level. Um, what I was talking about earlier about what you would find in the black market is called the Ankh. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. But the Ankh, uh, as a regular item, would make it so that if you would die, you would come back to life at the beginning of that level with 4 HP with still everything attached. Um, what would you have to do is there was a special MOA head in one of the ice rolls that had a yellow chin and you would have to die right next to it with the Ung without using a bomb and that would teleport you inside the head and that will grant you a crown like thing I forgot the name of it sorry but with that and the scepter you would find a golden door randomly again throughout the temple level and if you find it and if you do everything well you're in a uh, secret level called the city of gold where everything literally is made out of gold and the rarest and most expensive thing is on that level um, I know I really didn't show you too much of the temple level it's just because I am should I Well, here, here you go, Welp Thrip Prof. Just go <clears throat> yourself or whatever noise they make. Reminds me of the Mario 64. Love the game. So, let me just bag that in and. We'll call it a video. Super short, isn't it? Well, you'll see why, why I'm gonna cut off the video right here and right now. <laughs> it's it's so very ironic. It's just that this game usually is like blooming hard, yet I get so unexpectedly lucky to finish this game in such a snap. When when I very first played this game, I mean I followed what Corona and Kieska and Kaskia, sorry, uh have learnt throughout the ways and you know learned by you know by myself, like you know the little secrets and tips and you know what's going to get me and what's not and all oh, that's snazzy jazz um jeez I can't believe it um god it makes me really think that I want to end it as soon but I'm not going to purposely die although now saying all this stuff to Splunky I'm going to die horrifically and then every time when I try to get back to where I was it's just going to be like 50 videos <laughs> alright well I hope you guys have a good rest of the day, enjoy the videos, and I'll see you the next time.